Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Mass Department of Public Health reports more than 7,600 new cases of COVID-19. That brings the total number of confirmed cases in the Bay State to more than 400,000. 87,000 of those are believed to currently be active. State also seeing 74 new deaths. The statewide death toll stands at 12,708. South Hadley High School says a student was the victim of a hate speech incident. In a letter sent home to parents obtained by Western Mass News, administrators say in part, quote, racial slurs are a form of violence and will absolutely not be tolerated and will never be tolerated. Violence will be dealt with swiftly and definitively with the protection of the victims in mind, end quote. The letter goes on to say that the high school administration and guidance staff will hold drop-in sessions for students on Monday. Boston Marathon bomber Johar Sarnayev suing the federal government. He's claiming unlawful, unreasonable, and discriminatory treatment at the Colorado prison where he's currently serving a life sentence. Sarnayev specifically cites the confiscation of a white baseball cap and bandana that he bought at the prison commissary, plus a limit of only three showers per week. He claims his treatment is contributing to his mental and physical decline, and he's suing for a quarter million dollars. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. We keep clear skies overnight, a light breeze out of the north, and cold temperatures dropping back into the upper teens and low 20s for most here across western Mass. And tomorrow the sunshine returns, but it will be a little bit chillier. Highs only getting into the lower and middle 30s, while more of a breeze coming in out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So that's going to make it feel closer or even below freezing in many spots tomorrow. Now Saturday is looking dry and quiet. High pressure is building off to our west across the Midwest, and then there's an area of low pressure off to our northeast between those two. That's why we'll see the gustier breeze on Saturday. Then for Sunday and Monday, all is quiet. We'll be watching the deep south dealing with rain and snow. That system will be moving off the coast and remaining well to our south. So looking at the seven day forecast, there is just no wet weather in store over the next several days. Monday and Tuesday, partly cloudy with highs near 40. We stay there Wednesday and then we're tracking a few rain and snow showers to end the week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.